everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm putting in the doors. They were just delivered with a bunch of materials yesterday, and while the doors aren't super critical in terms of holding anything up, they are representing a huge pile of stuff downstairs, and I'd, I'd kind of like to get them used up so I don't have to navigate around them downstairs. So I figured I'd start putting them up here. I got this one done, that one done, and now I'm working on the bathroom door right here. Now, normally when you read instructions for how to put in a door, or a window for that matter, they talk about you leave a rough opening that's about an inch wider than uh, you know what you're putting in, and uh, you put like a half an inch op gap on one side, half an inch gap on the other side, kind of center it up, and uh, you know that allows you to, to fit it in in case you didn't put your studs straight. If the studs are kind of crooked or weird, uh, you know, it, you can kind of correct it at that point uh, if you you know leave that that inch. Now I checked all my stuff with a level. The studs are perfectly plumb. Uh, so, you know, I don't have to worry about this. Now, if they were off a little bit, you could put it in and maybe there'd be like gap at the at the top here, but like really tight at the bottom uh, and really tight at the top here, gap at the bottom if your studs were crooked. But mine are straight, so I don't have to worry about it. These right here, what I'm uh, holding are shims. This is one way that people would oftentimes fill in this gap over here. Uh, these are cedar shingles. They're thicker at one end, thinner at the other. And while if you just stuck one of these in here, now obviously this is too small for that gap, but if you just stuck one in because it's tapered, you'd put things in crooked, but if you take two of them and have thick end on this one on this side and thick end on this one on this side, it makes two parallel surfaces. And to make it thicker, you slide them together like that, and to make it thinner, you kind of slide them apart. And whatever excess is sticking out, you cut off with a saw later. Now, again, I took care to put my studs up properly, so I don't have to mess with that. I'm not going to use these. What I'm using are just these spacers I created. The gap here is an inch, as it was supposed to be, so I made inch thick spacers. And I already put in one at the top. I'm going to put one at the bottom, one in the middle, near the uh, where the bolt kind of goes in here, and then two between each of those. Uh, it, the ones that are super critical are top, bottom, and near the bolt. I, I do the other ones just to give it a little extra rigidity. So uh, I'm going to come down here and put this guy in. And what I, where's my hammer? There it is. Okay. I want to make this flush on the outside here. So tap it. Make sure I'm going to use this to determine what's flush. Yeah, it's sticking out too much. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Could even go a little more, but I didn't cut the plywood far enough. It's, it's thoroughly okay, though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that good and put this in. One more tap, okay, cool. Uh, because these little spacers are so uh, small, I like to pre-drill instead of just putting nails through. Uh, that way it helps to prevent splitting in the, the uh, spacer. And I'm going to put one nail right through there. I'm not going to set that yet though, because I want to test this out first. I'm going to put one more nail in here. Now you don't have to put one on this middle one, usually people don't, they just put the nails off here, but honestly these things always drift off, they're just held in with a couple little staples, and I always go through people's houses and I'm always like pushing them back because they're just drifting. So I like to just lock them down with a nail. Again, I'm not going to set that nail, the reason is because I want to test the door and make sure that it actually, you know, closes properly. That looks good, it's not sticking out too far where the door can't close, and it's not uh, puckered in so much that there's too much of a gap. It looks good. I'm going to finish that up. And double check again. And it's beautiful. If you are having trouble with the door, you can always take a rasp and kind of take your door down a little bit and then sand it. And it's, all, it's all good. So I'm going to work on getting the doors up. And then I guess I got this, uh, these tiles to work on. There's just, uh, there's just a lot of different things to do, but uh, it's nice just getting all these materials that just got delivered up and into the structure, and uh, every day just a little bit closer. That's it. Thanks for watching.